very good evening to you and welcome to Capital TV. I'm Kasim Hassan Ali. Nyeri Town MP Wanjiri Wambugu says he will not pursue his petition against Chief Justice David Maraga to be removed from his office. Barely minutes after President Uhuru Kenyatta advised him that the timing was off and barely 24 hours after petitioning the Judicial Service Commission, Wambugu retreated. Wambugu announced his decision in a tweet this afternoon after attending a Central Kenya Leaders Forum held at the Sagana State Lodge today. Nandipo naambia hata mdugu yangu mweshimu wa gunjiri wachana na iwa watu bana. Hata kufuata hawa watu. Leave them alone. Si tumekubali kurudi kwa uchaguzi. Wacha sisi to focus na kuenda kutafuta kura ya mwana inchi. Iyo ndiyo haja yetu. Hawa ni namna gani wenzangu? Sili namna hiyo? Ya? Hawa walifanya vile walifanya ni yao na mungu yao. Sili namna hiyo? Sisi iwe yetu na wana inchi wa Kenya. Sili namna hiyo? Mimi na wamba tuende namna hiyo. Tuwachana na hiyo mambu mingi. Let us put our attention on the election, winning the election, and continuing the progress of developing this country of ours. Igembe South MP John Paul Murigi became the new owner of a Prado courtesy of President Uhuru Kenyatta. President Kenyatta made good on a promise to furnish the 23-year-old with the car at the Sagana State Lodge where he was meeting Central Kenya leaders. On receiving the car keys, Murigi said the vehicle would enable him effectively execute his duties as an MP. In an exclusive interview with Capital TV, soon after his election, Murigi expressed a desire for a car. Ukweli kama ningepata mundu, aamua kuni sponsor na kagari, ningefuraia. Bere ina gani? Majority of Kenyans are satisfied with the October 17th date poll, according to a survey by InfoTrack. The firm's chief executive, Angela Mbitho, in a presentation to the press on Friday morning, said that the voters appear to be satisfied with the date in the interest of the national exams. The study also revealed that 77% of voters were satisfied with the annulment of the August 8th presidential election by the Supreme Court. Do you uh, support the date? Are they happy with the date that has been stipulated uh, by IBC or proposed by IBC as a date for the next election, which is 17th October? Um, overwhelmingly, you know, Kenyans support that date. So 84% said yes, 14.3% said no, um, and 1.5% said they don't know. So for, you know, if we look at it across the board, then we see that support for that particular date is quite high across the board. Pray for Nyanza, when, where we end, and Western, where we have 20 and about 29% respectively saying they don't support uh, the date of 17th. Well, I think people just, uh, one, probably want to uh, get over with the electioneering period. Um, as I mentioned that in the beginning, we find ourselves in uncharted waters. Um, and the longer you stretch it, the more politicking there will be. But then there is also the element that was given as justification, which was a school calendar and not interfering with exams. Perhaps that has informed, uh, you know, why they are, they're comfortable with the date. But I think also just that, you know, um, uh, it is a date IABC gave. And um, it's a date that Kenyans then say, fine, let us go with. Maybe people just want to adhere to what has been stipulated uh, and, and, and get this thing over and done with. And finally, Safaricom CEO Bob Colimo says they have lost over 400 million shillings in business over the election period. Colimo explains that this is on the account of M-Pesa agents opting to keep their shops closed. Colimo was speaking on the silence of the Safaricom annual general meeting where shareholders approved a final dividend of 97 cents per share. The loss over the election period, uh, I think we were, you know, we'd given some indication and we need to be careful what we say because we are heading into the uh, half year period so we don't want to disclose too much um, before we get into trouble with the capital markets. Um, but as I said, most of the loss came from um, M-Pesa, and most shops, M-Pesa agents being closed. And we found that a lot of areas, uh, people just shut their shops because they were scared of violence. And the second thing is they were scared of, um, of having cash on the premises. And so that was the, 
that was the principal, the principal problem. Um, but we estimate it's probably um, you know, around 400 million shillings or there, thereabouts. With that, we've come to the end of our bulletin today. For more on this and other stories, don't forget to log on to our website www.capitalfm.co.ke forward slash TV. I've been your host, Kasim Hassan Ali. Good evening.